Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel where we discuss all things narcissism and this video is going to be about how a narcissistic person might react when you treat them how they treat you as when it comes to dealing with a narcissistic person some of our best lines of defense are the lessons that they taught us that caused us so much pain and in a way that we use it to protect ourselves from them. They use these things to manipulate us and hurt us and exploit us and get their own needs met by us. And we use them to distance ourselves from them, to let them go and live their life while we go and live ours, as most people do. A narcissistic person isn't the easiest of people to shake off unless they believe it's their idea or believe you've not got anything to offer them. So when it comes to narcissistic people, they're quite happy to dish out the silent treatment when they believe you've criticised them in some way and caused that narcissistic injury. And this isn't the same as you turning around and insulting them. This is when they ask you to do something and you've already arranged something that they know you have planned and you say no you can't and they get offended by this because they believe that they're more important than you and the other people and your plans and they will turn around and say well if that's more important to you than I am to try and guilt trip you and when these guilt trips fail they will fall silent on you to punish you for not serving their needs However, a narcissistic person will outright insult you, pull you down, tear you to pieces. They'll come after you and goad you and bait you. And when you realise that you're not going to get anywhere with them, so you're no longer giving them that emotional reaction, you're no longer playing into their games, you're just remaining silent or you're remaining silent because you are offended by their insults towards you. Narcissistic people take offence to this. Your silence hurts them because they're seeking that adoration. They hate being ignored. So just as their silent treatment hurts us, our silence towards them hurts them. Now, with the majority of narcissistic people, when you fall silent towards them, with some, this will criticise their ego and they will up their gains to get what they want from you so they might start playing nice they might start delivering on some promises they might start sending you gifts they might just say oh what's wrong with you are you having a bad day you know you can talk to me they then might start insulting you all the more or blaming you and shaming you, guilt tripping you, claiming there's some form of crisis or move on to somebody new and flaunt that new supply in front of your face. And with other narcissistic people, as your silence renders them insignificant, they believe that you're the one that's trying to manipulate them and they're not going to be fooled by your gains. So they're going to move on to a new supply and completely ignore you until you come to your senses and go and chase them. And when this doesn't happen, they go around smearing your name to other people to get you to go and ask them to stop because then they've opened up that communication. So narcissistic people are offended by your silence. Gaslighting. When a narcissistic person gaslights you, when they claim you saw things you didn't see or you didn't see things you did see, or that you heard something you didn't hear, or you didn't hear something that you did hear, when they are psychologically manipulating your reality to work in their favour, when they come at you and say, I never said that, that never happened, you must be imagining things, or when they're manipulating your emotions and accusing, provoking you into feeling jealous and then accusing you of being jealous, provoking you into having then trust issues and then accusing you of having trust issues, ignoring your needs and then belittling you and invalidating you and criticising you and then accusing you of being the sensitive one and you're the one that can't take a joke and as you're feeling these things you question yourself and not the person who's gaslighting your reality 
Now, when you tell a narcissistic person something and they're not interested in what you're telling them, they're not listening to you. So then when you come at them later down the line and say, hey, what about this? And they go, you never told me that. They might genuinely believe that you never told them that. So when you turn around and say, yes, I did. I told you then, can't you remember? And they turn around and uh, attack you because they believe that you are the one who's trying to manipulate them and if they know the terms they'll accuse you of gaslighting them and even if you have it in black and white even if you've written it down and you go with to them with facts and evidence to prove that you told them you might have sent them a message that they've deleted off their phone and you've got it on yours so you show them they're still going to deny all knowledge they're still going to accuse you of messing around with things and adapting things to work in your favor when it comes to narcissistic people they enjoy leaving out information there's several reasons why they enjoy leaving out information one they enjoy knowing something you don't know they're like that little toddler trapped in an adult's body so they enjoy knowing something that you don't know they also don't want you to make an informed choice because if you don't know then you're going to make a choice that works in the narcissist's favour and if you find out and ask them then to a narcissist it's not your it's not the narcissist's fault that you didn't ask them the right information that you didn't ask them the right question you never asked me that you never wanted to know that or they turn around and say, I didn't tell you because I knew you'd act like this. And rightfully so, when somebody has left out information that collapses your life into a heap and you have to get yourself back up again and get going again because they've caused absolute chaos by leaving out information. When it comes to dealing with narcissistic people, we often learn that by telling a narcissist what we're doing, they use it against us to sabotage us or manipulate us or stop us from doing things that we enjoy. When, when we tell a narcissistic person how we feel, they use our feelings against us to gaslight us, to claim that we're the ones that's insecure and too sensitive and imagining things. So when it comes to dealing with a narcissistic person, it's easier to not inform them. If you've got a special occasion coming up, you know the games they're going to play on the run up to that event. So you can leave it to the last possible minute to tell them. And they get offended by this, just like you get offended. And they turn around and say, well, I'm always the last to know, aren't I? Nobody's bothered about me. Nobody cares about me as they turn into the victim. The difference being they leave out information that negatively impacts your life so that you cannot make an informed choice. You leave out information that doesn't negatively impact their life as such. However, to a narcissist, it in impacts their life because they can't coercively control you to get their needs met by you. So where people go and enjoy a friend's birthday, an everyday thing that if you're with a genuine person you can say hey it's so and so's birthday we're going to celebrate yep fine plans are made arrangements made with a narcissistic person you're not allowed to do this so they take offense that you've not informed them yet they will go right ahead and cheat on you and not inform you because they don't want you to know that information they will steal money from you and not inform you because they don't want to know they don't want you to know that information abandonment most people can fear being abandoned narcissistic people do to the point where they go all out to isolate you so that you can't abandon them because you've got no one left so if you abandon a narcissist this criticizes their ego especially if they've not got a new source of supply lined up which is when they can come with the love bombing and the hoovering and playing nice and the pity plays and the sympathy votes and the crisis and the attacks to try and get you back in some way however they'll happily abandon you 
as and when suits their need and they'll just accuse you of being jealous and bitter and seeking revenge on them yet they'll they'll up and leave you with no warning and then flaunt a new supply in your face and they might even just up and leave you and ghost you so you're concerned about their whereabouts concerned if they're okay and get in touch with them and their friends and family and they just tell everybody how you're the one that's obsessed now with a narcissist with those who lack empathy sometimes you do have to leave them without them knowing so they can't plan their attack on you because that is the most dangerous point when you're leaving and they they get the face on when you do this they don't see what they've done at all while you're there questioning and doubting yourself and blaming yourself and wondering what if i'd have done this maybe if i just have done that better the narcissist just sits there and blames you for everything that goes wrong in their life criticism narcissistic people will happily mock other people criticize other people pull other people down to feel better about themselves however you can just offer them some friendly advice and they get offended by this because to a narcissist they're superior they know more than you therefore they're going to turn around and attack you so that they can heal their narcissistic injury and feel better about themselves when it comes to narcissistic people when you treat them how they treat you even though your intentions are coming from a different place. Narcissistic people get just as offended as you do. When somebody falls silent on you, you can become offended, you can become hurt. When somebody leaves out information, you can be hurt. When somebody abandons you or criticises you or gaslights you, it can be confusing and bewildering and hurtful and painful. And it causes the same sort of pain to a narcissistic person. However, with a narcissistic person, they don't reflect, they don't see what they did to they lead up to the behavior where you're there ruminating and going over everything and trying to analyze everything to try and work out how you could improve. A narcissist is trying to work out how they can get you back, how they can punish you, how they can hurt you. Now we can all get to a point when we realise that we've been lied to and duped and conned that we want to seek revenge. However, there's a thing called empathy that tends to stop you from taking things too far. With narcissistic people, they tend to lack this. So there is no low. They won't go to get one over on you to get you back. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the comments. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour. To give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.